Hi, my name is Errol. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to talk about VLANs and the top five benefits of implementing them. So a VLAN basically stands for Virtual Local Area Network. In its simplest form, what that is is basically taking a layer two network that might be sizable and splitting it up into multiple networks. What that does is improve performance, improve security, lower your cost, gets over some of the location uh, barriers that you have, and simplifies management. So switches are pretty complicated, but when you first plug them in and they're set to factory defaults, basically anything can get to anything. This is all in one VLAN. Usually it's the default VLAN. As you add more switches, that holds true. Uh, this is three switches right here, and anything plugged into this one can get to this. All this can communicate with each other. It's one big broadcast domain. Um, as your network grows from one switch to three switches to 100 switches, that creates a problem right off the bat, and the problem is performance. Being that this is all one broadcast domain, as you add devices to your network, uh, and they try to locate each other, traffic um, becomes more intense, it slows down your network. That's the first thing that a VLAN does is improve performance. How it does that is uh, splits it up into multiple broadcast domains so that way anything in this red VLAN right here can't talk to anything in the green VLAN. So it makes it smaller and more manageable as far as uh, traffic goes. Okay, so when you first plug in a switch, um, everything's in the same broadcast domain. It's pretty much a flat network. That's when everything's in the same VLAN. The second problem with that is, what if you're in a company where you have maybe sales is this red switch right here and accounting is this other switch and you don't want them to talk to each other or maybe you're in education and you have students and faculty and administration, you don't want the students sneaking in to see their grades or answers to the tests. How you would separate that in a flat network is you wouldn't. Everybody can get to everybody. Uh, one way to separate that is to put a layer three device like a router in between. That way, anybody on this switch can't get to anybody on this switch. The problem with that is that there's a cost to that. It's more expensive. VLANs pretty much keeps it inexpensive by having the same switch. Maybe the red one is our students and the green is faculty administrator and they can't talk to each other. Students can't see the grades. Sales reps can't see their reviews or what other people were making by plugging into HR. Okay, I already touched on cost a little bit, which is number three. I'm gonna to touch on it a little more. Uh, a third scenario is what if you have uh, students in this location and faculty in this location, students in this location and faculty in this location. Without VLANs, basically what you have to do is have a switch for each uh, each branch that you want. If you want students in this location, you'll have to have a switch just for students. Administrators, switch just for administrators. Same thing with HR and sales. Sales are usually all over the place. This is one building, this is one building. You need a switch for each one. That gets expensive. You gotta buy the layer three device router. You gotta buy a switch for each type of uh, department. When you have VLANs, you don't need to do that. Basically, uh, there's two types of ports. There's an access port and a trunk port. VLANs can um, span over multiple switches. So what you do is you create a VLAN here in this building, the red VLAN which would be students, the green VLAN which would be administrators. So they can't talk to each other. These are access ports which means they only belong to one VLAN. Trunk ports can carry the information from multiple VLANs to another switch. So that way when you go over to the other building you have the same VLANs here. So these green people right here, which are faculty, can get to these, and it basically looks like this, or logically looks like this, but it's really configured like this. Same thing with the students, they can't touch this or this, uh, but they can talk to the red. And that's how you would uh, get over location barriers and keep the cost down for that. So number five is management. It simplifies management because let's say if you have a new student come in, a new employee, and you know that this employee is gonna be in sales or this student um, is gonna be at a certain part of the dorm or, or anything like that, then what you can do is you already have the VLAN set up, you create a port, put them in the student VLAN, 
put it in a sales VLAN, plug it in, and all his credentials are set. And you can go uh, only where you want them to go. You don't have to configure each one individually. You just configure the port for what you want them in uh, as far as VLANs go, and then he's all set, and that simplifies management. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope this video on VLANs and the benefits of it helps you with your understanding of it. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us.